My father always told me that I'm going to have 12 kids. We want to give them so many different experiences, they're exposed to so many, so many things. I thought it would be so great to take the family to other countries, go to China. When I was a young musician, I got completely carried away with the party lifestyle, and it got the best of me. I lost my purpose. I had no sense of direction. I didn't know what to do. What I wanted was change. But what I needed was a job. Uh, I came out to Chico to uh, earn some money uh, by trimming weed so that I might have enough money to set up shop in San Francisco, get like a normal job. It's really hard to find work that you can actually get paid for well, even if you have some education to back it up. For most of today's weed trimmers, this is not only a form of survival, but a lifestyle free from the trappings of modern life. Weed trimmers can get paid in cash or in kind, $200 cash in hand, or three ounces of product for a day's work. The situation is a quite big issue in, here in the Maulis, not only the local islands, even the, everywhere. And it's, and of course, they do separate the uh, garbages, like uh, wet garbage and uh, general garbage. But the thing is, at the end of the day, they're still burning on the island. Yeah. Even the safari boats, they just basically dump into the sea. This will be affecting us here in the Maulis. Everybody comes for diving, see the underwater beauty. And I don't know, 10 years, we may not see this beauty again. <laughs>